Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video I want to talk about vulnerability. So vulnerability is something that's going to challenge your ego, it's going to challenge your identity, it's going to challenge everything that you believe in and around about what others believe about you because it's being open, it's being exactly as the word is, vulnerable. Vulnerable is to be open, to be seen, be heard, express yourself in the true matter of who you are as an individual, in the ability to put it all out there. So when we do that, when we when we do open up, first and foremost, there's probably a few things that if you have done in the past and maybe that's times where you've been shut down and it's been challenged and that sort of, but at the same time, if you've got a safe environment where you've created that safe environment to be able to be vulnerable, to open up, be true to who you are, what it's gonna actually allow you to do is tap into any emotion in and around what it is that you're holding onto and then be able to allow it to release. See, for me, vulnerability is something that used to be a real, real challenge. I've always been somebody who wears my heart on my sleeve, but at the same time, I've always been so guarded because I've been so so insecure in my own right, nervous as to being judged by everybody else. But see, over the last couple of years, as I've started to really dive into myself, connecting with my emotions and be able to understand who I am as an individual, I find that there is that strength in being vulnerable. It's not a weakness, it's actually a strength because so many people are unable to go there. And look, that's that's perfectly okay. As I said, it took me many years to be able to open up and to be truly vulnerable and express whatever it was there on my heart to actually express. So where to start with vulnerability? I guess you can start putting your toe in the water a little bit and start to express little bits here and there about what's going on for yourself to those around you. And I guess in a relationship is probably the best place to start when it comes to vulnerability. To be able to find that place of safety and security in the person that you're with to be able to be true to who you are. Now at the same time, if you can't quite find that in that intimate relationship, well then when you have a close friendship, that male, female, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter, then have that conversation that goes along the lines of creating a safe space in which anything could be said and there is gonna be no judgment ever in that space. And it's just whatever is there to be said. Because when you actually acknowledge what it is that you, you're relationship is looking like and have the ability to be able to be vulnerable in and around certain people then it's going to play out in so many different ways in your life it's going to actually be allowing you to be able to process the baggage that you've been carrying around for however long it's been because that's what I found for myself that when I dived into this whole personal development space and being a client from an NLP perspective and sitting there and, and processing everything if I look back now and I sink into the body in which I was in at that current point in time there was so many things that I was suppressing. There was so much energetic baggage that I was carrying around with myself or rather dragging around with myself constantly. The problem with that is that it was showing up everywhere. I don't know if any of you have moved places, moved location, and then all of a sudden you think, awesome, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go live over here now and it's gonna be perfect. Everything's gonna be awesome. You know, all of the stuff back there is, is still back there, but now I'm here and I can recreate myself and be who I choose to be. Now, for me, that was partly when I moved to Sydney. I moved away from Perth thinking I was going to be able to really step into who I am as a person and recreate myself basically with a clean slate because I was no longer in Perth. But the thing that I found is that, <laughs> and you probably have found this too, is that when you actually move location, the one thing that goes with you is yourself. So if you're unable to dive into all of the energetic and emotional stuff that's going on for yourself, and allow it to be spoken, allow yourself to be vulnerable, to be seen and to be heard around a safe environment, then you're gonna find that that energetic baggage that you're carrying around is gonna to start to dissipate. And as it starts to dissipate, you're gonna find a freedom that you've never found before in life. And this is all the things that I've been experiencing over the last couple of years as I dive into anything that is going on. This morning I was on a, on a group call with a mentoring uh, group that I'm involved with not running, but more participating in. It just blows my mind to see the shifts. When you have something that's coming up, even though it's something that I do very regularly with particular people in my life who I've created that safe space to be able to speak vulnerably from a perspective that it's just what's there to be said. There's no judgment, it has no true meaning to it other than there is just something that I've been carrying around and I'm getting that nudge from the universe to say, hey, it's time to give this a voice because when you give it a voice, you own it you acknowledge it instead of just trying to suppress it and push it away like we constantly do and what society has taught us to do. Now, I'm not just talking about for the guys here, but for females also. Society as a whole has told us and taught us to suppress what is going on for ourselves. And the thing is, is when you open up and become vulnerable, 
you also give permission for others to open up and be vulnerable as well. And as you do that, and as you go through that journey, you'll be honestly surprised to think that all of the stuff that you've been carrying around that is some of the deepest, darkest things that you've thought, oh my gosh, I'm the only person that's ever done this. The truth of the matter is, is you'll be so, so surprised to know that so many other people have done the exact same things. They're carrying the shame around for so many similar things as yourself. We're not alone on this journey, but yet, we believe that we are the only ones that have done these silly things or experienced such things. And I get it. There are definitely things that are going to be very, very emotionally challenging. I fully understand that. But when you can actually give it a voice, you're allowing it to be processed and you're acknowledging yourself that it no longer controls you. Because for so long when you're walking around and you're suppressing it, your fear of it is running the show. So by being vulnerable and being open and being able to express yourself in a way that gives that the voice, you're taking back control, you're taking back ownership, and you're consciously choosing how the next steps will play out. Because as you start to get into this space and really get to know who you are and connect with who you are, you will find that you become excited when there's an opportunity to be able to dive into something else and give that a voice. It still scares the absolute bejeebas out of me. But the thing is, is when there's an opportunity to be able to process something and to be able to move through something, even if it requires breaking down into tears and really feeling it and fulfilling it, then that's what's there to be done. And on the other side of that is so much space, so much freedom, so much love for yourself because you're taking back that control. I was listening to a story recently and it was talking about how children allow themselves to process an emotion or an experience in full. Whereas us as adults, we don't allow ourselves to go through the full spectrum of what it is there to experience. See, when a child kicks its toe on a rock and hurts itself or himself, herself, they will break down in tears. They'll have that emotional re reaction to it. They will express it. They will get it out. They will just move through it. And then five, 10 minutes later, the chances are that they're just running around the rocks again and, and happy as Larry because they've allowed themselves to be able to move through it and not stop it from being whatever it is, being that experience. But yet, if I look back in my own childhood, you know, some of the things that my parents used to say when that was happening would be like, stop it, stop it. Like as soon as you start crying, you know, stop it, you're okay. And I get it, I get where they're coming from. I truly do. And it's always with the best intentions. But the thing that I'm starting to realize now is that we don't allow ourselves to go through that full process of the event, the processing of it, the expressiveness of it, whether it's through tears, whether it's through whatever there is to be felt, and then to allow it to pass through us so that we can be in a place of freedom and space and growth where we're then able to operate from. So unfortunately what we've got now as adults is the fact that we've got to dive into that and we've got to dive into it with courage and understanding that it's not there to hurt us it's not there to harm us but yet to be able to get to the places that you want to get to if you're finding that you're being held back in where you want to be in life then to get to that place you need to move through the darkness in which you've suppressed within your own life and I know that sounds terrible and I know it sounds challenging and scary and everything like that I get it I truly do if I could tell you you that you didn't have to do that and you could just forget the past and everything and move forward well I'm sure everybody would be interested in that but the truth of the matter is you've got to go through something to be able to get to somewhere depending on what you're up to in life and, and if you're looking for that greater deeper inner happiness something that I talk about a lot in the path to self mastery program which is really connecting in with yourself because true happiness does not happen on the outside of us with material things it happens in here it happens inside us and the ability to be able to process and be free with what's going on around us. Because when you connect in and you can really truly understand that, well then, it doesn't matter where you are. Whether you are standing right here where I am, looking at the beautiful ocean out here, whether you're going through your day job. Now I'm not gonna say that, you know, standing here looking out to the ocean doing a video for you guys is not easier to be in a state of happiness than it is in a negative workplace environment that you may not be appreciating. I get it. But by finding that inner happiness within yourself, you're not giving your power away to anything outside of you. And the access to that is through the vulnerability to be able to express what it is that's going on for you or what has gone on for you and to be able to create that deeper connection with yourself. Because if you're not willing to go there, then the relationship with yourself is only gonna ever go so deep. And that is also gonna flow into the relationships that you have with others. So if vulnerability scares you, if it really, really terrifies you to admit the fact that maybe you don't have it all together, maybe there was some sort of inappropriate things that happened when you were younger that you've suppressed and you're not willing to acknowledge, whether it is 
trying to pretend like you're living this lavish lifestyle when the reality is that you're not. Whatever it is, I want to encourage you to find that safe space around you to be able to talk about it, to be able to express it, to be able to go through it. And when you create that safe environment, it's not a case of having to have that other person to respond in any particular way. All their role is, is just to hold space for you and to be there for you. And at the same time, if it's the roles reversed, be space for somebody else. Just hold that space so that they can express themselves, so that they can truly process what it is to go through and allow them to speak about it in whatever way with no judgment, just loving your heart and simply that so guys and girls I want to encourage you and I want to challenge you today to just scratch that surface of vulnerability go a little bit deeper with it than you ever have before and start to chip away some of that stuff that you've been carrying around for so long and start to find that true inner happiness within yourself if you have any questions shoot it in the comments I'll get back to you or go and jump on lifewithoptions.net and connect with me on there if you got any value out of this video like it share it comment it and show it some love and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one. Cheers.